Hello, I'm Captain Stacy Spell, Commanding Officer of Media Relations Division of the Los Angeles Police Department. This critical incident community briefing is intended to provide you with information about a law enforcement related injury, also known as a Leary, that occurred in Van Nuys Division in the City of Los Angeles on June 15, 2021 at around 8.13 p.m. A Leary is a use of force incident where an individual requires hospitalization. You're about to see relevant video footage and learn about other evidence and police procedures related to the case so you can have a better understanding of what occurred based on what we know right now. The LAPD conducts very thorough use of force investigations, which typically require investigators to interview multiple witnesses, view numerous hours of video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. We are still at the very early stages of this investigation, which can often take up to a year to complete, and our understanding of the incident may change as this additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. We also do not draw any conclusions about whether the officers acted consistent with our policies and the law until all the facts are known and the investigation is complete. A word of caution. The images and information you're about to see may be disturbing. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect or defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. In addition, there may be strong language used by those shown in the video. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. Van Nuys patrol officers responded to a radio call of a suspect that was violating a domestic violence restraining order at a residence in the 14,400 block of Valerio Street. As the officers arrived on scene, they located the suspect standing in the street in front of the location. That suspect was later identified as Angel Torres. Here's the 911 broadcast for this incident. I have a restraining order on my kid's father and he's striking my apartment. What's the address? 144 Valerio Street. 144. Valerio, what apartment? Yes. Are you in the apartment now? I'm just getting here. Okay. And you know he's in there. How did he tell you? I was driving. It's it's uh, opening the gate. It's like probably like four buildings, and he was inside the, the gate. Okay. Is he black, white, Hispanic? He's, he's just walking out right now. He's Hispanic? What color shirt? He doesn't have a shirt on. What color pants? He has black shorts. Black shorts? Yes. And what's his name? And he's wearing a backpack. Angel Giovanni Torres. Okay, I got Torres. What's the first name? Angel. Angel, okay. And what's your name, ma'am? And are you gonna are you gonna stand by in your car and wait for the police? Like where are you gonna be to meet with the police? I'm going to be in my apartment. Okay, hold on one second. Let me broadcast for the officers, okay? One moment. San Ezeus, domestic violence restraint order violation, 1446 Valerio Street, 1446 Valerio Street. Suspect is the father of the children, male Hispanic, 31 years, wearing no shirt, blue shorts, possibly under the influence of narcotics, going in, going in and out of the gate, violating our code 3 and 4262 and RD906. San Ezeus, time to identify. The officers gave Torres commands to submit to arrest, however, he refused to comply. When the officers approached Torres and attempted to take him into custody, Torres resisted. Officers used physical force and a taser to take Torres into custody. A taser is an electronic control device that is carried by nearly all patrol officers. It fires two metal probes that are designed to cause neuromuscular incapacitation. Body-worn video cameras are used by most officers assigned to field duties. They are worn at chest level and capture a general perspective within line of sight from that angle. The angle of the camera prohibits viewers from seeing everything the officers saw and experienced. Upon activation, both audio and video will turn on. However, body-worn video cameras have a buffer of video without audio from the previous two minutes prior to activation. This feature is designed to capture incidents that occur suddenly, where an officer doesn't immediately activate the camera. Here is body-worn video from the officers involved in this incident.
Los Angeles Fire Department paramedics responded and transported Torres to a local hospital due to the taser deployment. Torres was subsequently admitted because the attending physician could not rule out if the force used against Torres was a contributing factor to his medical condition. On June 15, 2021, the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office filed the following charges against Torres. One count of stalking and one count of resisting an officer. Angel Torres is a 31-year-old resident of Los Angeles. In the next several months, the LAPD will continue to investigate and analyze this incident. We will continue interviewing any new witnesses that may come forward and complete any forensic tests. After the investigation is complete, our Critical Incident Review Division will forward their findings to the Chief of Police, who will make his recommendation to the Civilian Board of Police Commissioners. The Board will evaluate the evidence to determine whether the officer's tactics, drawing and exhibiting a weapon, and use of force in this instance met the high standards expected of all LAPD officers. If you would like more information on how the LAPD and LA District Attorney's Office investigates all officer-involved shootings and other serious uses of force, 
visit lapdonline.org, where you can also find the LAPD's use of force policy and procedures. Thank you for taking the time to view this critical incident community briefing.